first of all, your character, Twisty the Crown, Clown, like, it looks so freaky. How was it kind of getting into that character? It was That was really fun. The, the actual process of, of getting into the character, of getting into the makeup and the costume and everything always felt really fun. Was there a clown growing, did you like clowns growing up or was there, did you always watch it and kind of no, thought that? I mean, I'd seen it and uh, it was terrifying, uh, but uh, uh, actually uh, when I was growing up on Denver television, there was a clown called Blinky and that was my first introduction to clowns. And he was like a TV clown, so he talked, you know, he talked to the... But it always felt really strange that there was always this group of children who were really, really excited whenever he came around. And I was trying to figure out, what's up with that? Like, when, even when I was nine, I was like, I mean, he's okay. You know, he sings happy birthday, that's nice, but why are they so excited? I didn't really understand the concept of studio audi audience so much. I didn't understand that they were being revved up, you know. So the disconnect was really strange to me. How was it the makeup and the process for all that? That should have taken a while, right? Yes, the makeup took a, took a long time. It started at an hour and a half and it kind of boiled down to about 45, 50 minutes and that was every time. And there were some days where the makeup had to change from one to the other to the other so there were several, you know, 35, 40 minute breaks in between. I always think Ryan's so great at bringing about, even though your character is supposed to be one of the scariest in all of the seasons, that he always brings some humanity to it. Are we going to see flashbacks for Twisty? Uh, you know, the best part about it is, and the thing that I love about both the writing of this show and his, and his work overall, is that he never skimps on people's humanity. No matter how um, dark it gets, uh, they're always people. And we should be aware of what we're capable of because if we're not really truly aware of what we're capable of, we'll actually do it. Who do you get to work with the most on the show? I got to work with Finn Whitrock, Skylar Samuels, Franny Conroy. I got to work uh, with uh, Major Dotson. These are all characters that were in my world. And also I got to work from afar with everybody because they're all really not, uh, they're, I'm not happy about any of them, frankly. Yeah, you got to make a lot of enemies. I've got to make I, I've got to make it right is what I've got to do. There's a disturbance in the force, and I'm trying to work it out is what I'm trying to do. Exactly. Just be like exactly. you know, got to find your power. You know, just you flip a coin, one hero, one villain. Which one is which? You never know. The last question: What's the freakiest thing? Do you think at a freak show, in your personal opinion? Uh, honestly, it's the it's the entrance to the freak show. When you have to walk into the devil's mouth to get into a show, wouldn't you just think to yourself, I'm not going in there. That's insane, why am I going in there? Nothing in there is gonna be any good for me. Why am I going in there? I really think they should rethink their entrance. I agree, or maybe they're trying to keep people out. You know what? It's a rarefied clientele. You have to be brave to go in. I think that's what they're saying. Yeah, it takes courage. Yes. Italians, instead of saying break a leg, say into the mouth of the wolf. That's what actors say. That's the same thing, I guess. Into the devil's mouth you go. I love that. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you.